So eSports is just competitive video games at the end of the day. It's a really good way of combining just having fun on the computer and a love for competition. This is our first year of doing anything eSports. So we've got like the arena, which we've seen. Um, this even this conference room's brand new. All the TVs, the couches, everything, all the furniture and everything. All this year from funding from the school. It's not NCAA. So the school can give out like scholarships for that if they want to. So I'm pretty excited about that for next year. So what's unique about this is, is that these are all college kids. Um, and what's very unique about George Fox is, is this is the inaugural program. This is the very first program on campus. These individual students came on campus unknowing that they were going to have an esports team or they didn't think that they were going to sign up to be on an esports team. Now they're coming in and some of these individual kids are now living a dream that they've had for such a long time. And to be a part of something and streamline something from beginning to end, I'm just glad to be a part of it. Guys, chip nice. I think we're building a very strong culture here and just a community as well. It's like, I feel like when you walk into the esports like arena, it's more than just playing video games competitively. Like it's like a family sort of thing. Like with almost any other sport that you get, like there's always that family element. Um, just being able to like, to walk in and be yourself and hang out with people with who have similar minds and just overall have a great and fun time. <laughs> Um, the simplest way is just car soccer. It's probably the easiest esports game to like understand just because there's a way like to like relate it back to background knowledge and stuff like that. The games are shorter as well. I mean, if you take like League of Legends, for example, those games can go up to like 45 minutes. But looking at Rocket League, it was always easy for me to be like, okay, the ball goes in the net, score, just like soccer, you know? It's a brand new program. It's only been around for this year, and I'm the head coach of the Rocket League team, so I manage the varsity team, the junior varsity A and junior varsity B team. So we have practice probably five days a week, four to five days a week, um, and we'll, we set aside one day, typically Wednesday, to do team bonding so that it can look anything like playing like an off game like Valorant, Overwatch, League of Legends, or maybe we'll play 2K on the PS5, or some days we'll play basketball. So normal sports, it's it's pretty much like a normal sport, just minus like the physical activity. Practices, I would say, are similar to physical sports other than the physical aspect. Like we're still playing in a bunch of time to get better at our games and stuff like that. There's definitely a lot of strategy uh, offensively and defensively with different passing techniques and like putting it off the backboard or off the corner and stuff like that, getting demos, uh, different rotations around that help us be in positions we need to be. If it's like individual, more individual practice where we kind of just work on our own mechanics, different things, we'll kind of just talk it out as a team. Um, but we always try to get in some sort of like rank sort of play together so we can keep working on communication and talk about like what we're doing wrong, what we're doing right every time for practice is, um, it's really nice. So that's kind of like what our practices have been like. Usually we will get into a stretch with our hands, get into some shooting drills because the team's shooting between, between us needs some work. <laughs> so we'll usually work on that first. We usually do some passing or something like that, get us just warmed up as a team and then we'll get into games. We'll either be scrimmaging another school or team or we'll just play some rank. In between games, we're getting into VOD review or after a scrimmage, we'll be looking at the replays, going over mistakes. Many people get confused with gaming and, and esports. What you see traditionally like on Twitch is a content creator or a streamer and they're gaming, but esports is much different. Esports is you know a team versus a team going out and competing. We're a brand new program, ultimately, creating a, a team of 27 individuals. We have 15 on League of Legends and then 12 on Rocket League. I was a senior here and got a text from our coach at the beginning of the school year saying, hey, you showed interest in Rocket League. We're gonna have a team this year. Do you wanna come try out? So I said, why not? Why would you choose eSports over traditional sports? I love video games for one, but the second one 
is it, it's a way to compete without having to worry about injuries. I was previously a lacrosse player, ultimate frisbee player, and specifically lacrosse, like I tore my ACL, um, broken very a lot of bones. Yeah, so extensive history of injuries there, but in eSports, you really don't have to worry about that. Like 99% of injuries you can just play through and you'll be okay. And so it's a great way for me to stay competitive without having to worry about injuring myself further. We have like a stream team, which is really cool. So they have like their own thing. And then we have like an eSports staff and they all work together to make like cool graphics for our streams. We're continuing to expand. So we have those two game titles currently. Um, in the fall of 2022, we are adding Valorant, uh, Overwatch, Apex Legends, Smash Brothers. In 2023, we'll be adding Halo and then we'll also be adding FIFA, Madden, NBA 2K. So we'll have approximately about 12 or 13 game titles and be housing about somewhere around 75 to 80 students within this program within the next two years.